right guys welcome to your second video and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the engine now usually in these videos what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be explaining to you guys what exactly each part does and breaking it apart and taking you guys through why you need it but the engine is a whole different beast if I start taking apart this engine then it's going to be like 15 videos just explaining the engine so I'm going to give you guys a real quick overview of what the engine does. Now, usually the engine and the transmissions are separate, but this is all, since this is such a simple engine, just a go-kart engine, they tied it together in this really nice 150cc engine. Basically, the job of any engine, whether it's for your car or, you know, a truck or a go-kart dune buggy, its job is to take gas, explode it, and use that power to create a spinning motion. Now the engine part that spins is right here. Now the reason that you need to create a spinning motion is of course that gear right here is going to be connected via chain to this gear on my rear axle. So of course when the engine spins a chain turns this rear axle and then of course this rear axle is going to be connected to the tires and make the go-kart move. So that's the basic of, you know, how you can use gas to make a go-kart move through the engine. Now, before I bolt this on, let me go ahead and show you guys where I'm going to be mounting this onto the engine. This gets mounted on the engine using two main bolts. One that goes from here to here. It bolts onto the frame of there. And also another bolt right here to here. So two heavy-duty bolts make this engine mount on the frame because of course you need to mount it on somehow so it doesn't just you know fall over so let me go ahead and show you guys how to mount this baby right now so like I said before this engine right here is built to mount onto your frame in two locations one using a bolt on top and the other one using a bolt on bottom now whenever you build your own custom frame what you would want to do is you would want to first measure these two little locations right here and weld brackets onto your frame specifically to fit this engine. But this frame, like I said, I already bought it pre-loaded, so it was already built specifically for this engine, so if we just go ahead and plop it in there, there are already brackets in here to fit it. So the only thing we need to do now is, as you can see, the back of this frame pivots right here. So what we do is we actually put this engine in upside down, then when we pivot it or rotate it back, the engine is going to be right side up. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that right now. Hopefully I don't drop it on my toes. So go ahead and make sure you have your bolt ready. And this little bearing is going to go through the bolt and then it's going to screw on by one nut. And once we have the top bolt, that's the hardest one. The second one or the bottom one is relatively easy. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those in my back pocket, grab the engine. And another thing, you also want to make sure that there is no oil in your engine because if you already put engine oil in, then it's going to leak all over the place whenever you put it upside down. So let's hope there's no oil in here. So right now, as you can see, I already slid the bolt through the bracket on the frame, the bracket on the engine, and also that tube that came with the bolt. Now the only other thing I have to do is line it up with this side and finish pounding the bolt through. So hopefully I can do that without dropping it on my toes. So there we go, right there. The top bolt is all the way through. All right, so now that top bolt is on there nice and snug. Now we can get to the easier part. Now that I don't have to do any more heavy lifting, we just have to line up this bottom bolt and then our engine will be mounted. So hopefully this bottom is a little bit easier. To find the hole. There we go. There's one side. I might have to grab the old trusty hammer. Yep. Oh yeah, nothing a little hammer can't take care of. Now just put the nut on and tighten it up and then this baby's gonna be ready to flip. Now if your engine is already upright, then go ahead and pat yourself on the back. You're ready to move on. 
but if you get one of these pivoting frames, and I really like this uh, pivoting idea because it's really easy to pull your engine whenever you need to, then just go ahead and lower it into place. And there are also two brackets, one right here and one right here. And you just have to uh, screw the nuts on these to make sure that your engine doesn't, you know, flip back up whenever you're driving or anything. But just go ahead and tighten those two secure brackets. And once you do that, you're ready to move on to the next step. So congratulations, your engine is now installed. I'll see you guys in the next video.